Okay everyone, so we'll be doing some agentic coding with Cloud4 Sonnet. You might be knowing about my application Chess Pen, where we do chess matches between LLM. So I have to make some changes on it. It uses the Open Router API and I have to add a reasoning mode in it, where we can actually select the reasoning effort between high, medium and low. You know, so there will be a toggle in the application. So before moving further, let's do one thing. Let's actually start the script. So we'll ask start the application. Let's see if it's actually able to identify the start.asset script, which is present. So now you can see it is listing the directories and it has actually found the start.asset script. And I think most probably it is going to use that. And you can see it is using the start.asset script. Successful to find that, but that's pretty much easy. So you can see the application has started now you can actually select the models but we also want a reasoning mode in it so when we hit reasoning we have a drop down to actually select reasoning effort or we can default it to reasoning high i guess because why would we use a you know low reasoning effort so i have this open router documentation so i'll copy the page and actually save it as a txt file in my code base so i will say reasoning in open router dot txt so i have saved that file reasoning in open router dot txt and i've pasted everything that was in that now what it has to do is actually understand this and implement it so here you can see we can implement the reasoning tokens in two modes one way is the effort method which use which open ai uses high medium and low and other it's a max tokens method this is what gemini and cloud uses so we'll just mention cloud that so this is what we are sending we now want to enable reasoning toggle for models when selecting the model there is a reasoning mode against each player we select in the start page where we type the model name when enabled it should be defaulted to using the reasoning effort as high so please implement that in the front end and back ends we are also mentioning refer the reasoning in open router.txt file in the code base to understand and implement it correctly so this is all what we are sending to cloud force on it let's see what it does by the way guys i have already created a copy of this application and you guys should also do that so now it is reading the reasoning in open router.txt file now it is going on to understand the current front end structure so one thing that is nice with the cloud for series of models is they try to understand you know each and everything now you can see it wants to update the dot cursor rules file it is calling it dot cursor rules scratch pad so let it update that so it has actually made an action plan you can see let me open the file let's accept that and you can see the current task is enabling reasonable to reasoning toggle for models in the chess game so it has located and read open router dot txt file so there is no open router dot txt file the actual name is open route reasoning in open router dot txt so maybe it has reduced Use the name found the current chess player sec selector component with model selection located the backend api call for llm moves so now it is now it is going to add reasoning toggle and update the front end modify the backend and test the implementation now it has actually made a small note how it should be implemented it says based on open router txt reasoning should be added to api calls in the following manner so it's nice it's making those notes and here you can see it is actually doing the edits this is something new with these models maintaining a scratch pad you know this was some this is something we saw in devin as well and even in Manus, now you can see it has done 25 tool calls and that's the reason cursor is stopping it but we'll resume so this is something that we are seeing with the latest models they are doing a lot of tool call that is the reason cursor has has shifted o3 into max only plan because it makes a lot of tool calls okay so i think it has done everything and you can see the scratch pass is updated now it has added the reasoning toggle updated the front end modified the back end now it's going to test the implementation so it is asking to start the S application using the sh command so we'll start the application as it's asking and now it has started okay the so the ui looks actually better guys enable reasoning mode high effort so we have a toggle that is nice to see what we'll do is we'll use cloud for sonnet and if in fact reasoning is being used then we should see significant number of tokens used let's see so anthropic cloud is in black position let's see if you actually see black playing a move that is cloud sonnet then it means it's working so i think it's not working in the back end it's saying error getting move from llm got an unexpected keyword argument reasoning but here sonnet is saying that it has implemented it so let's mention that one thing i have to say is it has made this you know ui changes i didn't ask for that but it did that that is the reason it look it's looking ugly so i have selected openai o3 because it aligns more with you know the low medium and high effort maybe that could be the issue but I'm trying it again. If it works, then we should see a move from OpenAIO3. But I think that is not working because we are getting the argument issue, unexpected keyword argument reasoning. So we'll have to send this. So I'll mention I'm getting this issue. Refer to the documentation that is present locally. Search the web, fix the issue. Let's see. So it was not able to do that in one go, guys. It's nice that I have made a backup. 
or else it would have been difficult for me okay, it seems that it has fixed the issue and now it's updating the cursor rules file it's asking us to start the script again so we'll be doing that so let's try it once again we'll select openai o3 enable reasoning and let's see so the white player is gpt40 we should likely get a move okay so it played the move now it's time for openai o3 i hope it works okay so it's getting into an issue again let's enable the reasoning effort and let's start the game so we should likely get a move from gpt40 because i have disabled the reasoning in that one let's see okay so we got a move from gpt40 and now it's time for openai o3 so we are using o4 mini i think there is some issue with o3 so let's see if it actually works okay we did get a move from o4 so it is working now let's actually try cloud models now we'll try cloud models because i think in the documentation it is said that whether which mode you use either it's the max tokens way or whether it's the effort method it's intercompatible in open router api so now we should see high amount of thinking tokens okay it actually made a move and uh, let me look into the back end how many tokens were used so let's go into credits and view usage okay so 1318 credits were used so we can consider that i think it used the thinking mode so i think it's implemented guys that is nice i let the match go on a bit and want to see more higher numbers fully confirm whether thinking tokens are being used or not okay so now it shows that it has used 4137 tokens so this is clearly a thinking model so i think it has successfully implemented it guys that is nice to see it just took a few steps and it was able to implement that but we'll have to fix the ui issue so let's move on with that so we'll just mention what it did so this is what i'm sending while doing the previous updates you changed the ui on the front page can you please fix that we need to have a consistent look in the front page where we select the model so let's end this okay so i think it has misunderstood what i said i think the mistake is in my part as well i didn't clearly mention what i was talking about so it is thinking that i am talking about the reasoning toggles and how they are actually messing up the look yeah i do have want the reasoning toggles to improve but uh, let's see so this is what you're sending while doing the previous updates you changed the ui on the front page can you please fix that we need to have a consistent look in the front page where we select the models you have added dashed lines like look to the pop-up which is making things inconsistent so i'm talking about this one also the headers of the page is visibly different you can see and on you can see so you can see the header is visibly different also on each sides of the pop-up we have different color it's looking ugly have a look at the page do you think it looks good let's add please fix it so let's see what it does i believe i have given enough context even though if it's low then we'll do a retry okay so it, it's saying that it has did some changes but i don't see anything let me send it again i'll send the image so this is what we are sending you can see the image and what i'm the text i'm sending is now you can see the different sections are visible i don't like that instead they should be visibly same same colors no gradients like the three sections i don't want to see that identify them and fix it and i'm not talking about anything in the pop-up including the toggle so let's send this and see if things improve so this is where i think windsurf actually is better you can actually point out the sections using the tools it has so it was still not able to fix that let's do one thing i'll send this so i'm sending this image which shows the pop-up and its two other sides so i'm sending on either side of the pop-up there is different color why is that please fix it so it is making some changes guys but what it's doing i'm not able to understand because i don't see any changes here in the main page so now it has made it black so you can see i'm finding it difficult but i think this is more related to cursor's interface instead of the model itself some part of problem is with the model model as well i think the only possible way is to completely redesign the front page so i'll do one thing guys i'll mention it to completely redesign the page from scratch i think that is the only issue so this is what i'm sending completely redesign the page from scratch but don't lose any functionalities or functions please make it look aesthetically pleasing and consistent to the general theme of the app you can understand the theme of theme from the game page where chess match happens so it's it is going to most likely use the theme that is implemented in the actual chess board page and use that to you know design the front page i think that is the only way i think most probably the issue could be that you know these other parts the top part the top header part and the side container like things they are from a different file that is the reason it it is making the edits but the edits are just getting localized into this particular section so i've mentioned that let's see if it actually finds and fixes the issue when i said there are three different sections and i don't want that it should have understood that and you know tried to find the reason but it was not able to do that and i think that was the issue now you can see it's getting updated so now you can see i had to actually understand the issue and try to convey it so these can't automatically work and fix the things maybe cloud code with puppeteer could have given better responses but 
we have cursor for now so now i'm sending i only see a black sand instead can you have an animated theme where chess pieces are flying here and there of varied sizes and according to me also have the background suitable for the overall theme so let's see what it does so now you can see this is what it has implemented i'll have to fix this different sections issue okay so i have fixed the issue but uh, you can see the pattern in the background is not very nice we'll have to fix that again so i'm mentioning the currently rotating chess background is ugly what you have to implement is chess pieces individually like particles flowing here and there please implement that so let's see okay everyone so it's implemented and you can see it looks pretty good according to me so this is it guys i think all the things were implemented and it looks pretty nice